so hello everyone. My name is Tligen. Uh I'm hopefully incoming intern <laughs> still. So uh, last week, uh, lastly, I was working on my uh, intern projects for particularly, uh, I was analyzing uh, packages that in the ecosystem that provide modules under a different name than the packages itself. So as an example, uh, there are many examples. So one of them would be Python dot environment, uh, which comes under name Python dot env when we uh, install it or import it. Uh, I mean, install it, but when we import it uh, using uh, in our Python scripts, it comes on a different name, uh, which is uh, okay, which is Python dot env. And basically, what we want to do is we want to resolve, uh, be able to connect uh, packages and modules that come under different names in different locations together, so that we know that they're same things. Uh, as an example, I would probably go through the Tot Solver dataset. So basically. I'm starting a, a Jupyter notebook uh, with, with data sets from Todd Solver. Uh, I need probably to rerun it. So basically here we are working with Todd Solver data set that is available on Ceph or on GitHub. Uh, after importing it and uh, how's it called? extracting metadata, Okay, I think my shift is broken. So, and extracting metadata, uh, we will be able to analyze uh, some packages that come under different names. Uh, there will be several examples. Uh, so I need some time for it to run, but it should be pretty quick. So it's taking some time because it's extracting all the packages, but I think it should be good now. So. What I want to do is to show that uh, from solver metadata, we have our requirements specified in a column uh, three. And we also, we also uh, have that information about the packages uh, in the package column for each specific uh, solver run. And sometimes they are not the same, or sometimes information is missing, uh, which can be seen uh, as in case of uh, these libraries where we iterate through uh, all the available packages and we compare the names. So what happens, uh, some names are changed. Uh, so basically upper cases are missing. Uh, in some cases package, we basically missing information about that package. But most interestingly is that we sometimes see that on PyPy, maybe it named uh, using dashes, but uh, in real life, when we are using it in our Python scripts, we uh, using dots. And so these are three main differences that I saw. So either uppercase, lowercase mismatch, uh, dash turned to dot or other way around and empty packages, uh, package names and packages. Uh, so this was done on a solver run, uh, solver run, uh, available on a GitHub. Uh, basically, basically what we do is we can check, I can give that one example probably using Invectio run, if that's okay with everyone. Uh, so I, copied locally in Vectio folder and created simple app test where I import those libraries that I know for sure will have errors, uh, just to give an example. Uh, so I call the simple functions so that our uh, our Invectio library parses that uh, AST3 correctly. And I also to need to add them in pip file as in usual Python uh, project. You can see that I added these four packages here specifying exact same version that I want it to import. Uh, and after running in Vectio, what uses uh, in this current, oh, sorry, Vectio, what uses, I get JSON dump uh, of all the uh, libraries that been used and mod models that been used uh, in my uh, current folder. And we see that they come in these four examples, they come under different names uh compared to once used in the file uh so basically 
pretty much that's it about it. Because uh, uh, regards to my next step, I would want to work on this and be able to extract the solution in real time so that when solver runs, it, it is able to distinguish uh, or connect uh, to two libraries and packages that are actually the same. Uh, and pretty much that's it. Do I stop sharing or or any any questions from audience? No, no questions. Okay. Any questions? No. So no, I think it's a very good uh, uh, starting point. So from here, I mean, at least we see where, where, what is the issue and what we are trying to solve. So now it's more researching if there is some more data sets we can use or if there are other solutions that we can use to find this connection. Mm -hmm. But first of all, also to see if that what you discover in the solvers is something that we can use already, or maybe we need something more. So right. very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If there are no more questions. I, I had, OK, probably. Uh, I thought. Uh... I had a question actually. So, regards this, if it's appropriate. So, can we can we compare these library names using information from PyPy? So, uh, when when running our solver, will that be a good good way to go, or we need to like proceed the other way? What do you mean? Like a uh, solver itself uses yes, the so name from PyPy. PyPy. So b basically, if there is information available on PyPy uh, for the given module name, if we can extract or obtain data on what this module's name would be in local scripts. Would be able? Would we be able to use that as our approach, or you think that there will be like better better ways to do it? It's just like I don't know some idea. Um, yeah, I mean, if you can show some example, yeah, we can have a look. Maybe okay. it's a good solution. Okay. Next so. time. Okay. Yes. Next time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I will. Also, it would be good to check the PEP convention. So, PyPI has a PEP conventions for naming. Maybe they also have some information. Uh, the one which you showed with dots, I think that is one of the conventions. Uh, so, maybe it's it may be it will be helpful helpful for you. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want. Thank you.